I maybe took on a bit too much work. We yeah. did multiple videos here. I need to be down there in 15 minutes. We're at Club Daytona. I'm gonna spend some time here. I, I think I can get something cool out of this. Golden hour was extremely fruitful. Parker caught on fire inside of an hour. That sucks. Welcome to Daytona. It's finally time for the Rolex. It's been a long 10 days getting ready for this race. So last week we had the Roar, which is basically practice and qualifying. I maybe took on a bit too much work as a freelancer, sort of you get in that habit. I was coming into this race with a little bit more time on my schedule and I ended up filling that up as well. So I've been sort of in the same boat. I did not learn from my mistake, but the good news is that I'm sort of out of the woods on all that stuff. Weirdly, I'm not actually delivering much content during the race. I'm gonna deliver social clips like I do, of course, but I'm not actually delivering that much content during the race. So I've got a little bit more time to relax now, take in the event, sort of go to some spots that are a little bit riskier to me because I don't have to be so safe on delivery. Finally through the woods on that and I'm really excited for the race. Okay, now this morning, it's, it, it is 8 a.m. right now, which is six hours from sort of when the start of the race is, about six hours. And so it, it seems like I'm here really early, but I'm actually not. So this morning, the first project on my list today is covering Aston Martin's hospitality. So they've got three sections they're hitting this morning. They're doing a garage tour at the Heart of Racing, which is also a client of mine. They are doing some track ride-alongs in their Aston Martin DBX for their VIP customers. And then they also have breakfast, lunch, and dinner in their hospitality suite where their customers can go and watch the race and, and sort of mingle and eat food. So my objective is to try to capture some content to make uh, an internal piece for them so that they're able to sell that, this experience in the future. So I need to be down there in 15 minutes. We'll get started there. It's definitely, it's wider, yeah? It looks wider. The headlight's definitely a lot higher. I think the old car, the front end swoops down like this. Okay. And then, of course, the bubbles. You know, this comes down to like over here on the old car. Okay. This one just swung straight out. Yeah. Here we are on top gear. <laughs> Austin, biggest tips for a 24 hour race? Uh, find a comfy nap spot, find like at the Airbnb, for about an hour nap, take a shower, then come back. At 100%, I'll be showering with him. I mean, not with him, but at the same place. Right. Hey, Mars done. Got about a half hour till the grid walk starts. So, gonna go dump some footage and get ready for the start of the race. Walking on the grass, but I guess not today. Just got done with the grid walk. It's a freaking insane amount of. I touched my hat. It's just, there's an insane amount of fans here. It's definitely more. Feels like more than it was last year. Uh, it's been very busy so far. I am going to the media center. I'm going to swap out batteries. I'm going to try to dump this card, and then I am going to go to my turn. My first. Lap start, I don't know where that's gonna be yet.
Okay, okay, I just shot the start of the race. Um, always super exciting. There's so much energy and the fans get all excited when the race starts. It's a lot of fun. Um, there's some big clouds in the sky, so I'm gonna go move around and try to find some some spots that get me those clouds. But after that, I I'm, I'm, think I'm gonna take a break and download some footage. I've shot a lot today between the hospitality event and the pre-grid, and I, I feel a little disorganized, so I'm gonna get all my stuff together, see where I'm at, and then go back out for the night sessions. We are under safety car at the moment. Uh, I found this spot on the banking. I, uh, you can see the cars going through it. So, so the shadows, the sun is, I'm back, it's backlit. So the shed, but the shadows like are casting some, some fence onto the racetrack. And I also sort of like these clouds right now. I think they look really cool. So I'm gonna spend some time here. I, I think I can get something cool out of this. thing is pretty sweet. Straight from the mall. It's awesome. Okay, we've arrived at my favorite time of day. It is almost golden hour. This is going to be a new spot for me. I usually shoot the other horseshoe and I just feel like I've done that in the last two years so I'm gonna do something different this year. I'm gonna shoot a little back. I'm gonna try to shoot like through these light stands right as the sun sort of crests the hill. It's a bit of a risk, but I think it'll be good. I got uh, golden hour was extremely fruitful. Uh, one of my favorite golden hour sessions I've ever done. So that's really good. Uh, it's been a little busy with just like, I back to Aston Martin sort of hospitality stuff, but it's almost 10 o'clock and I'm gonna go shoot some fireworks. shared a lot of updates I, I just I haven't felt like super great about I, I feel like the shots I'm getting are really good I just don't feel like I'm getting many shots it's been the race has been going on for I don't know 14 hours and I just don't feel like I've done that much so I'm just not I'm not being that creative I, I you know, I didn't leave a, enough time in my schedule to, to think creative and be creative. I think that's something you sort of have to leave space for. And I've, I've been more just like getting what I need to deliver to clients and, and a little bit less creativity. So I'm gonna sort of regroup and hope that like I can come up with something by the end of the race. out for sunrise this morning it's pretty mid just the sun never really came out it peaked for just a second but we got about four and a half hours left it seems very much like we're about to get a little bit of rain so I'm gonna head to the pit lane just in case like everybody dashes in to change your tires
two hours left. Got some decent stuff at the end, but you know, nothing to write home about. But the good news is, I do have two clients in the same class actually that are in contention to win or at the very least podium, and another one that's kind of sniffing around the podium. But it could be an exciting end here. It's always nice to get on the box. So, might have some customers taking some Rolexes home today. 49 minutes left. That's not very much. What's up? Anyway, Parker caught on fire, gutted for him, man. Inside of an hour, that sucks. But still are in contention with Triarcy, so we'll see where we end up. It's time for my favorite segment, Dirty Race Cars. Well, that's it. That's the end of the Rolex. This is my third time doing it. I talked a lot in this one about struggling creatively, and I and I did. And I'm just like I'm pretty hard on myself, but the reality is I'm so lucky and thankful to cover races like this, and that this is my sole source of income. There was a time when I always wanted to be a business owner. I always wanted to shoot video and to be doing that now to race like this and be trusted sort of by the, the teams and, and manufacturers that trust me, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's, quite, uh, it's quite humbling. And I'm not the type to get emotional on the internet, but uh, I don't know, I'm just extremely thankful. And you know, I didn't have the best weekend creatively, but I'm, I'm still doing the job that I absolutely love. I love racing, I love video, and I can't wait for the next one. If you've made it this far, I appreciate you. Let me know what you wanna see next. If you like this, like it, of course, subscribe, and we'll see you at Sebring.